Hi, I'm Blake Van Dalen. This is my amazing wife, Melissa Van Dalen. Uh, we've been married for 18 years. Uh, we've been blessed that way. And along the way, uh, we have uh, Taylor, our 17-year-old daughter. We have Bree, our 11-year-old daughter. I know you, who are you now? Look into my eyes if you can't remember. Do you remember? About that point was when we bought um, some property here that we're at, and we started building the house that we're at as well. And so um, that's where things kind of started to change a little bit for us. We'd been married for about nine years at that point, and we started to get a little bit bigger. You know, it was really interesting. When we started building this house, you have a, a layout or a plan that you choose, and then you start to make little changes to it. I said we want to add a bonus room on top of the garage just so we could have kids over. We didn't know who those kids would be. We didn't know if it would be a youth group. We didn't know if it would be uh, Taylor and Bree's friends. We just felt like we wanted to build a huge house and fill it. We kind of had a design in the back of our mind, but it wasn't our design. I felt like it was really God's idea to build this house the way we did and use it now the way that we are. And after we got into it, we kind of thought, wow, did we make a mistake? Yeah. I mean, is this really what we were supposed to do? Because you know the reality sets in, the house payment, right? And um, so we looked into even potentially downscaling and thinking that, you know, maybe this wasn't God's plan for us. And then that's when we just clearly heard him say, no, you, you need to stay here. We want you to, to, you know, have an open house where people can come and, and um, kids are welcome and you can host events and just be open for whoever might need to, to come. So we were living here for about two years and that was when uh, we had Weston. And so uh, Weston was our first little guy born in this house and so that was just a lot of fun to, to expand our family. made a divine appointment with a co-worker of mine who goes to our church, I learned later. Um, she had adopted several kids and her testimony was so compelling. I came home and shared with Blake on several occasions, right? And I just felt like God was saying, you know, this is something you can do. And I think the phrase that she used, she said, God has blessed us so much. This is something that, that he's equipped us to do and that we can do really modeled our journey after another family, um, the Molendyke family. And then we just started praying about it. Come to the water, you who thirst, and you'll thirst no more. I remember one Mother's Day, my dad and I wrote her a card that said, basically, your heart is open to adoption, so is ours, we're ready to start this journey with you. And so happy Mother's Day. Well, we got placed with this little kiddo, um, Grady, as it turned out, when he was just um, just like a month or two old. Come to the Father, you who work, and you work So it turned out to be a roller coaster of a ride. It took like 18 months, and we thought it would take five months. And again, like he said, the finances, that was almost a deal breaker. That was the thing for Blake. It's like, how do we do that, you know? I mean, I have so many stories. I can't share all of them, but God, was unbelievable. Every time we needed $1,000 for this, it came from somewhere. Every bill got paid. We didn't have to take out a loan. It was the most blessed I've ever felt financially. God really just took that burden and said, I'll take care of that. You know, you're doing what I asked you to do. Just go do it and I'll provide. When I think of all I've seen, nothing compares. What you give. It was one of the things that, that I was surprised about how quickly Grady just became a Van Dalen. He's not our little Ethiopian. He's he's a Van Dalen. Uh, like she said, within a month, I think it was, Grady has been Grady. Grady's his own human being and he's perfect the way God made him and he fits into our family. Can't imagine our family without him. Also, I felt from the get-go. Melissa had wanted to adopt siblings at first. When the first idea came up, she had talked about, let's, let's go get two. But that just seemed like a bit much. Whereas when she talked about it would be really nice if Grady had a sibling, 
um, also from Ethiopia. It just made sense. I am satisfied by what tenderness you've shown. And seeing Grady and soon after Max come out of the orphanages and the airport was an indescribable feeling. You can't match that feeling. Yeah, so now we have five and uh, <laughs> seven all together. Wow, it makes it very interesting around our house. Now we just have all of this love and now I have so many people to play with and wrestle with and all that and it's awesome. My biggest thing is we listened and I've never been more blessed in anything I've done in my life aside from Mary and Melissa um, than to listen to him and build this house for its purpose and his purpose. It was just a great journey overall and really I think brought us closer as a family.